How does social pressure affect the concept of normality in sexuality? Is it true that meditation and mindfulness can improve sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Social pressure influences the definition of normality in sexuality by imposing expectations and norms that can stigmatize practices outside the perceived norm. This can affect self-acceptance and the free expression of sexuality, highlighting the importance of promoting a more inclusive and respectful understanding of sexual diversity. Meditation and mindfulness can improve sexual life by reducing stress, enhancing emotional connection, and increasing sensory awareness. These practices contribute to greater satisfaction in intimacy by promoting attention to the present moment and strengthening the connection with the body and the partner. Cultural differences in sexual expression. The way sexual fantasies and fetishes are expressed varies widely among different cultures. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted or even celebrated in another. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Customized positions. Many couples develop their own unique and customized sexual positions, tailored to their bodies, preferences, and levels of intimacy, allowing them to explore their sexuality in a more satisfying and rewarding way. Dedication. Time. Foreplay doesn't have to be rushed and can be enjoyed as an end in itself. Taking enough time to explore and enjoy each moment can lead to a more rewarding and satisfying sexual experience. Demystifying romantic love. Open relationships. Challenge the conventional idea that romantic love must be exclusive and centered on one person. This can lead to greater understanding and acceptance of diverse forms of love and commitment. Diversity in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among individuals and cultures, and what one person considers erotic or pleasurable may be different for another. It is important to respect the diversity of sexual expressions. Diversity in sexual preferences. Sexual preferences vary widely among individuals and may include a wide range of practices and fantasies. What is pleasurable for one person may not be for another, and all sexual preferences should be respected as long as they are consensual and safe. Dominance positions. There are women who enjoy taking on a dominant role in sexual activity, preferring positions that give them greater control, such as reverse cowgirl or inverted lotus. Edible toys. Edible sex toys, such as flavored lubricants or massage oils, add a playful and sensual element to intimacy, allowing couples to explore new forms of oral pleasure. Educational toys. Some sex toys are designed for educational purposes, especially to teach anatomy and safe, consensual sexual pleasure techniques. Effects on self-esteem. Some people in open relationships report experiencing an increase in self-esteem by feeling desired and valued by multiple partners. However, this may vary depending on the individual and relationship dynamics. Erectile dysfunction and aging. While it is true that erectile dysfunction becomes more common with age, it is not an inevitable result of aging. Many older men continue to have healthy erectile function. Erectile dysfunction and diabetes. Diabetes can damage nerves and blood vessels, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction in men with this condition. Erectile dysfunction and hormonal imbalances. Hormonal imbalances, such as low testosterone levels, can contribute to erectile dysfunction in some men. Medical evaluation and appropriate treatment can help address these hormonal issues. Erectile dysfunction and medication side effects. In addition to prescription medications, some herbal and over-the-counter supplements may contain ingredients that cause or worsen erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction and medications. 
some medications, such as antidepressants, high blood pressure medications, and tranquilizers, can cause or worsen erectile dysfunction as a side effect. Erectile dysfunction and orgasm. Although men with erectile dysfunction may have difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection, they can still experience orgasms, as erection and orgasm are separate processes. Erectile dysfunction and psychological disorders. Anxiety, stress, low self-esteem, and other psychological disorders can contribute to erectile dysfunction by affecting sexual response and arousal. Erectile dysfunction and relationship changes. Changes in the relationship, such as the arrival of a new baby, conflicts, or changes in family dynamics, can contribute to stress and anxiety, which can affect erectile function. Erectile. Dysfunction and smoking. Tobacco smoking can increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction, as tobacco damages blood vessels and reduces blood flow, making it difficult to achieve an erection. Ethical and moral challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges, especially regarding the representation of violence, exploitation, and consent, leading to debates about regulation and industry responsibility. Ethics of open relationships. Many people in open relationships follow a set of ethical principles that include honesty, respect, and mutual consent as fundamental pillars of their lifestyle. Exploration of sexual fantasies. During foreplay, women often feel more comfortable sharing and exploring their deepest sexual fantasies with their partners, which can lead to greater intimacy and emotional connection. Exploration of spirituality. In addition to its focus on physical pleasure, the Kama Sutra also addresses spiritual and emotional aspects of sex, exploring how sexuality can be a path to spiritual connection and personal growth. Fantasies of sex in public places. Some people experience sexual fantasies related to sex in public places, such as parks, public bathrooms, or even public transportation. These fantasies may be linked to the thrill of risk and the possibility of being discovered. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Flexibility and adaptability. Flexibility and adaptability are key when exploring new sexual positions. Some women may find positions more physically challenging, while others may enjoy more relaxed and comfortable positions. Food fetishism. Food fetishism involves sexual attraction to certain foods or eating practices. This can manifest in erotic games involving food, such as using chocolate or strawberries during sexual activity. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. G-spot stimulation. Certain sexual positions, like the coital alignment technique, CAT, are known for their ability to stimulate the G-spot, a highly sensitive area inside the vagina, which can lead to intense orgasms for some women. Genital herpes is a chronic and recurrent viral infection caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. It has no cure, but antiviral medications can help reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks. Glasses fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards the use of glasses, whether on themselves or their partner, finding glasses aesthetically appealing or associating glasses with intelligence and sexual attractiveness. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.